So, AG tipped off Dwight about the safe house. And if what he said is true, he's also got ties to Ebina. I have that right. Yeah. Then if he knows Dwight, I imagine he knows Bryce by way of association. That means it's AG, Bryce of Polycana, and Ebina of the Serio clan. All of them working against us. <sighs> How could I let this happen? Everything. It's all my fault. Aechon made a fool of me. We're dealing with someone who put himself in a wheelchair because he dug up your history with Masato Arakawa. I doubt many people could see through something so devious. So don't put this all on yourself. Yeah, but Hanawa san and Wong still died. Akane san got hurt. Lani's still gone. And now we're looking for her all over again. I know it's a bad situation. We're at rock bottom, and it can't get much worse. <sighs> But listen, Kasuga, that's all the more reason to keep your head up. Guys like us, all we can do is swallow the pain and push forward. Uh. Kitose, I still don't have the full story. You said Eiji was blackmailing you? What did you mean? I wish I could tell you, but now it's hardly the time. The police could be here any minute, and I'd rather be long gone. That said, I do need to get something off my chest. Here you, son. Ichiban. Yeah? You've heard of the Tatara channel, yeah? The one that put false accusations on Ichiban and the party, and outed Kiryu san's existence to the world? What about it? The VTuber running the show, Hisoka Tatara. Well, that was me. What? I'll demonstrate. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! Ready for another mind-blowing revelation? Cause here it is! The Dragon of Dojima's been spotted in Hawaii! That voice... Chichan? You're her? Yeah. And it was Eiji who pointed me at you. You wrote the script, I did the song and dance. Now you know the truth. I'd say that's pretty damning evidence. Still, I wouldn't have guessed it was Eiji behind all that. <sighs> it's just like you said earlier. Eiji's been working with Ebina from the start. Everything he does is under Ebina's orders. Speaking of, Ebina's starting some kind of garbage storing business with Polycana. Yeah, I heard it from the man himself. Now I know which parts he left out. Well, they've all been chasing Akane-san because she's sheltering Lani. Apparently, they thought sending Ichiban to Hawaii would help lure them out. And to see that through, Eiji's been keeping tabs on him from the moment they met on the plane. As for me, I was just another pawn in their game. Chichana. So it's confirmed then. We're up against Bryce, Ebina, and Eiji in the end. Not to mention Sawashiro. Uh, the captain? Yeah. When Tatar and Ebina outed me, it was right there with them on video. It's true, Ichiban. You put us through some major shit over here. Uh, no. Hang on a sec. You really think... You really think that's right? What do you mean? I know this might sound crazy, but... Guys, I don't think the captain would put Akane-san in danger. Huh? Ichiban, you realize who you're talking about? He'll do anything and everything to get ahead. Or save his own skin. For instance... Wasn't he gonna kill Akane-san just to hide his dirty secret from his boss? But he held back. Also, it was for the young master. To give his son a better life. 
And now, now that he's lost everything, all he's got left is making good on his debt to Arakawa-san. Think about it. Why else would he let himself get locked up for a murder he didn't commit? There's no way he'd leave Akane-san to the wolves. Not after all this. You're that sold, huh? Hurry it up, Ichiban. We need to go, now! Kiryu-san, when the captain asked me to go to Hawaii, he bowed to me. I know him. Bowing his head to me, of all people, can't be just an act. That's one thing he'd never do. Me meeting Akane-san would help the captain bury one of his last regrets. That has to be why he sent me. And Sawashiro, you really think Ebina hasn't looped him in on his real plan? <sighs> I do. That's true. Then he might not be on Ebina's team after all. Kiryu-san, could you talk to the captain for me? Right now, I need to go after Lani. If we don't act fast, she might be gone forever. All right. We'll take this from separate angles. If anything changes, I'll contact you right away. Guess we've got ourselves a date with Sabashiro. Anyone lower on the totem pole won't be worth the trouble. So, storming Seiryu HQ's on hold then? Yeah. But first things first, we need a way to contact Sawashiro. Hey, you heard that, right? You know how to get a hold of them. <sighs> like I'd tell you! Ha! <laughs> Over my dead body! If I were you, I'd choose my words more carefully. <laughs> Don't waste your breath on this asshole. Hmm? Hey, Sawashiro may be elusive, but he's still in my town. Think I wouldn't already have his number? You were quick, Sunny. <sighs> Something wrong, Psycho? It's just, didn't this AG guy completely pull the wool over Ichiban's eyes? Yeah. And now Ichiban saying Sawashiro, of all people's, reformed. What makes him so sure? If you told me he was working for Ebina, I'd buy it. Yet somehow you believe him, don't you? Maybe he sees something we don't. After all, isn't that one of his strengths? Uh, how do I respond to that? That's cheating. Well, whoever side he's on, Sawashiro is still a key figure in all this. <sighs> True enough. Okay then, let's get moving. Right. When push comes to shove, you gotta keep your head up. Here you son. Here's an idea. Why don't we have us have us a strategy meeting? Go over what we know. That way, we'll all be on the same page when we call Sarshiro. Okay. Not a bad idea. Then. What do you say we do at Survive? Hard to think of anywhere better. Hmm. If it's all hands on deck, I suppose I could call them in. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. The balance of the Jincho is crumbling enough as it is. Who are we inviting? <laughs> hmm. Why do I let you guess what you are really surprised? Oh, is Zhao and Hong, um, Jugin Hung finally showing up? Jeez, why do you leave us on a cliffhanger? Well, I suppose we should head over to survive and find out. Huh? So, Hanawa is dead. All he was to me was my handler. Still, lots happened between us, I suppose. We never made it this far now. We made it this far now. Hanawa, leave a kind son lying to us. We'll see this through. Promise. You, you always work so hard. You deserve the rest. I'll be joining you soon. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, 
sorry if I don't talk much. Still got the sore throat. Date, Kiryu. You remember the place I brought you to the other night? Hmm, Harbor of Light, wasn't it? That said he said. Yeah, I think so. Come by when you're free. I'm drinking all alone at the bar. Okay, but pace yourself till I get there. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting too long, then. Might overdo it. So he has another one for me. I see you got here quick. Should have known you two would hustle. Hey, the two boys are back in town. Yeah, what took you? Hey, Zhao! Jungi Han! How are you? It's been so long. Hmm. Indeed. I see you two are as lively as ever. Well, hello there. <laughs> Taichi Suzuki-san. I've seen you two around. He used to lead the Yokohama Liomang. And I'm sure you remember Jungi Han. Sunny filled me in on the details, including those about your condition. Did she? Guess that saves us some time. Who are they? Some local detectives. I call them up every now and again to keep me informed on Ijin Cho's latest and greatest. They're still in the trial phase, of course. Oh no, I know who you are. I never played it, but I'm pretty sure he's from the Judgment series. Both of them are from the Judgment series, I should say. Huh. On that note, looks like your detective doesn't recognize our man curious son. Well, ignorance is bliss, as they say. So that's what's up. Sawashiro's a hard man to read, I'll admit. Depending on how deep he's in with Ebina, we may want to rethink our approach. The Seryu clan's been similarly hard to read after Takabe, the next chairman, went to prison. But hearing this puts a lot into perspective. Yeah? How so? It goes back to Takabe's arrest. He was suspected of handing his men illegal firearms. Apparently there was a rat, and now it's smelling more and more like Ebina. Why? I heard a Seryu clan informant leaked the details that led to Takabe's arrest. Now, if Ebina was truly after a second great dissolution, he wouldn't need his superior out of the picture. So at the time, we never pinned him as the traitor. However, if the dissolution is merely a ruse, and his true goal was to take the reins of the Seryu clan, then it's all but certain that Takabe's arrest is his doing. Is it possible he wanted to split up the Yakuza, but then change his mind after swearing up himself? Or maybe he joined the Seiryu clan intending to take over from the start. And to do that, he even sacrificed his career with the police. Why do all that, though? That's what I'd like to know. Actually, if Sawashiro's always sticking around Ebina, I bet he'd have some clue. Yeah. Assuming he's not on board with Ebina's plans, like Kasuga says. Well, Sonny already knows how to contact the guy. Let's just dial him up and see if he'll talk. As long as Ebina's not breathing down his neck. Okay. I was having a few sips of my coffee. Um, as great as an idea this sounds, because I honestly am going to go with as shocking as it's going to be. I'm going to go with Ichiban and say Sarshiro is probably on our side. The problem is, is I got a feeling we're about to get set up. 
What's up? What do you think, Ray Cole Sarashiro? Eh. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Sawashiro speaking. It's Kiryu. We need to talk. Uh, Kiryu-san. Where are you right now? Your boss there with you? Before we get lost in the weeds, care to tell me what this is about? I just want to have a conversation. Somewhere Ebina isn't around. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Now, things are rather busy on my end. As you may be aware, I've got my hands full training our men for Hawaii. You're nothing but a talking head to those men. And your hands are full doing what exactly? Wiping Ebina's ass? <laughs> Cute. If it was Ichi who said that, I'd have slit his throat right now. Then maybe you should say that to my face. Or are you too much of a coward? I'm at the Siryu clan warehouse at the docks. Nanba should know how to get there. I trust Ebina won't be there listening? No. But it won't be a private meeting. We've got men posted up at every corner. And I doubt they'll appreciate intruders, so... Don't go expecting a warm welcome. Fair enough. Well, if you're that dead set on it... I won't bother talking you down. Best of luck. So, how should we take that exactly? If we go see Sawashiro, we'll be facing down enemies left and right. Yep, sure sounded like it. If you ask me, I think Sawashiro wanted to meet us. Yeah? Just think about it. If he wasn't interested, he never would have given his location or the warning at the end. In fact, it's almost like he was sending an SOS. W wait a sec. So does this mean he's actually on our side? Well, hell, let's get our asses over to him then. However, there's a chance we're playing right into his hand. Meaning once we set foot into that warehouse, we'll have to go through hordes of Yakuza only to find Evina waiting. Uh, then how do we know whether Sawashiro's lying or not? Only way to know for sure is to pay him a visit. As risky as it sounds, I guess we don't have much choice. Oh, guess not. Okay. Then why don't I lend you a hand? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm not invited? No, we could use your help. If it's alright. You think I'd rather chill here and let Sunhee hog all the fun? No. But think about it. If you two make a big scene, could disturb what little peace hangs in the balance. That's why we have you to keep the scales from tipping. You make it sound so simple. Hmm. I won't deny that we could use an extra ally. But given your position, won't it cause problems for you to start a fight with a Seiryu clan? Hey, there are problems in Ijin show as it is. And we've got the Seiryu themselves to thank. And it's them who started this shit. So I say... We shut some back in their faces. Besides, if I let my position hold me back, what kind of lame-ass friend would I be? That isn't stopping you, right? <sighs> Whoops. May have spoken out of turn there. No, I think I'm the one who's guilty of that. Forgive me. I take it you're on board? Huh, I suppose. I won't welcome him with open arms or anything, but maybe a pat on the head will do. Sheesh! What do I gotta do to get on your good side? <laughs> it's all good. Let's get out there and kick some ass together. Yeah, Shao's back. At least I can give him at the end of the game like last time. Maybe I can actually use him. Hell yeah! Shao's back to spice up the party. At this point, we're basically unstoppable, right? Oh, Juki and Hun is sad. Must be nice having all the fun to yourselves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Juki and Hun's like, man, wish I could join. But I can't. Because I have to try and keep everyone from going into civil war. 
Carry us on. Let's take a taxi to this here clan warehouse. I know how to get there. All right. You know, Shad did just join up with us again. We sure want to jump in like that? Maybe we do a little train. Should be safe. Probably a good idea in the long run. Mm. Yeah, probably. Never know what will be waiting for us. All right then. I've got just the thing. Mm. What's that? Recently, a building on the construction here in the Jinjo caught fire. Once it was put out, they basically left it the place to rot. No, can't be there. These days, there's some there's talk of some strange group holed up inside. Supposedly, now it's their hideout. Ah, ah brand new gang on the scene. Well then, I can't imagine you're just gonna ignore them, huh? Exactly. I want to investigate, figure out who they are, and get rid of them if needed. Right. What well, better way to sharpen our skills? Not only that, but it'll save me the trouble too. Win-win, as far as I'm concerned. Got it. Got it then. Let's check this place out. Where can we find it? West of Car... Car... Carriage Hall... Ha Hall... A highway. Holy cow. I sit with one of my officers there already. He could fill us in. Ah, the second dungeon in the game. We'll want to be prepared for that in the Clan Warehouse. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay, she's out. He's in. Level 31, 33. Actually, it's probably going to do that. So, Zhao, what are you doing? Damn. All right, I take it, yep, all his links immediately popped up. Oh, I should do that. Come on a second, this is more important. Harbor Light, hey, Dante Sun said you okay. So, let's catch up. For the record, Taichi's safely back in Okinawa by now. Saw him off at the airport personally. <laughs> Bought him enough tchotchkes to fill a duffel bag. That cabaret fight shouldn't sour his memories of the city. Good. Taichi's lucky to have you looking out. Thank you, Date-san. Hang on. Too early to start thanking me. We need to talk about what's next. Hmm? Come on. Taichi's far from the only one you've shut out. You've been dead to the world how many years? That's what I'm supposed to be. Dead men don't keep in touch. The Daidoji faction made that clear. They only back me as long as I stick to the shadows. Then what happens now? There's video evidence of Kazuma Kiryu still walking the earth. Force majeure, as the French call it, out of our hands. Daidoji say anything about that yet? No, nothing so far. As I thought, they're not omnipotent anyway. Not half as much as they were. What are you trying to say, Date-san? Only that, the way I see it, the Daidoji faction has reason to loosen your leash a bit. If circumstances align for a near miss or two with old friends, they'll likely be too occupied to care. Maybe. But you're forgetting. I keep my promises, whether I'm forced to or not. Oh, I'm well aware. But seeing Taichi didn't make you break your word, did it? You keep your distance, they never know you're there. I'm sure the Daidoji won't raise a stink. And if I were one of them, I'd be none too happy. Bloody hell, does that backbone of yours ever bend? How about this then? You know what Kamarucho's like these days. With the Tojo and Omi put to pasture, the Yakuza are just a memory. Petty criminals filled that gap. Better or worse, they're too insignificant to pin down. Cops have nothing to hold on to with them. I get it. So what? Some Kamarocho folk think it's worse than ever. Reminds me, Akiyama's gone quiet lately. Hmm? Akiyama? Jun Akiyama, the lifeline of Kamarocho. He ran Sky Finance Loan Office. Every crisis that city faced for over half a decade, he has. Ow! You can't find him? Date-san, when was the last time you two spoke? Just after the dissolution, I suppose. 
He caught when Kazuma Kiryu might have had a hand in it. Akiyama went hunting for anything he could find, but came back with nothing more than rumors. He rang me up late one night during his investigations. I've tried calling him since, but there's never an answer. He might have finally left town. What? So he just disappeared? Do you even know if he's alive? The thought occurred to me, so I've kept a watch going. If he shows up, the police will know. Are you worried? He's just one of plenty you've turned your back to, after all. Akiyama will be just fine. He's gone up against worse than this before. Honestly, you're probably right. Leave him aside for now, then. We both know, regardless of all that, Akiyama's not your only concern. Tell me what you want from me, Date-san. I thought I'd been clear. This whole bucket kick list of yours is an opportunity. You and the Daidoji can stay honest with each other while we get you some closure on things. Leave everything to me. Akiyama, too. I'll dig him up somehow. Date-san. Who else out there do you need to see? Think. Kamarocho's got a lot of faces. You spent practically half your life on those. I have a feeling if you do all these, the last one he'll see is going to be Haruko. I have a feeling Dante can pull those strings, have her come here, and he can see her one more time. Streets. The people who meant the most to me are dead. Kazuma-san, Yumi, even Nishiki. I still visit their graves. In fact, I was just there recently. To say I'll be with them soon. God's sake. All right, let's focus on the ones who are still above ground. Because, like it or not, that includes you for now. So who else, hmm? How's that daughter of yours doing? Huh? Saya? Oh, she's fine. She's married now. Three kids. She's... Doesn't that mean you're a grandfather? <laughs> I don't believe it. You never thought to tell me? Because that's not what we're here to talk about, damn it. <laughs> All right. Quit trying to distract damn me, it. would you? Take your time if you have to. Think of Kamarocho, okay? I know there's someone there. Hmm. Kamarocho locals that I knew. Well, I guess there's Kazuki and Yuya. There you go. That's a great call, in fact. Kazuki and Yuya. They're doing well, last I checked. Kazuki's the owner of the host club Stardust. A mem through Kazuma-san when I first got out of jail. Yuya was the host at Kaz in Kazuki's right hand. Fitting since I attest to all uh, their long-standing friends who survived everything Kamarocho's thrown at them. As you know, Stardust fell to the Korean Mafia some time back, but it's up and running again. <laughs> Is that so? Yep, now that we have that settled, I only have to come up with a plan. Some way the Daidoji faction will write off as a coincidence, just in case. Like with Taichi, we need the perfect setting. Give me a bit of time. Whatever you say. I'll go along with this because I trust you. Thanks, Date-san. Stop it. This is something I want to do. There's no need for one word of appreciation. Change their classes. Um, or I can go around and try and get all those. Nah, I'll change classes and jump right in there. Damn it, I don't know a place. I want to go to Hello Work. Alright, we're 
We're gonna change our classes to something new, everybody. Get ready. How are you meant to choose? I would meant host, chef. No, you. Oh god, the hair is awful. I hate it. I actually like How's that. this? Let's give this a try. Let's find something presentable. Disturbing. Hot stuff. Eh, whatever works. First impressions are key. Um... Ooh. Oh, I'm in love with it. <laughs> I could make this work. Hard to improve on perfection. Damn it, I was hoping to make him a uh, host. Okay, uh, chef. Ooh, this drip. Ooh, I make this look good, baby. We're bringing it back. Now that's an important decision. Opinions? Now, what about this with those shoes? Alright, skill inheritance time. Mask of punishment could be okay. Glory awaits. Windmill, we can get rid of windmill. Let's do... Splash, whether I have, I'm gonna keep. Um, I'm gonna keep you the way you are. Alright, everybody. Got the jet surf. Got health ring, which I'm gonna replace with shave. Oh, wait, that's not it. Infrared goggles. Ah, uh, okay. We should have a box for you. All right. Really, the rake is the best one. Hmm, shocking. Sport tongs, and then you're slightly a magic user, so toy bracelet. Actually, let's try it. Optional gear. Oh, and didn't do anything. Um. We'll give you that for now. I need to do more of that. Can I go? No. Alright. Oh. What's this? What's this? What's this? Hello. What's this? Useless. Oh. Hello? It's Dante Kiryu. Could you come to the Harbor Light if you're free? We'll make for Camarocho from there. Be sure that you're ready. Understood. I'll come soon. Found it. 
picture perfect. No idea what this is. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> the say clear no, this is just ahead. I better not get too close to it. Still, to think that the former Tojo clan headquarters is now the Seryu clan Tokyo branch. As supporter of the Great Dissolution, I might not have any right to say this, but it pains me to realize that the Tojo clan is no more. At the top of the underworld, society would have been better off without the Akus. So this much I know. Daigo must have struggled, struggled with this decision. Whenever I think of his suffering, the loneliness I feel from the trivial is, seems trivial in comparison. Daigo, Tase, the others made the right decision. I want to be proud to say that. This brings back memories. That's why I have to do whatever I can to help. Yeah, like a dragon. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, he want me to go there. Um, yeah, we'll do it. Those aren't, aren't that long, so yeah, we can do it. Good, you have everything you need? Yeah, straight over to Stardust. Kazuki and Yuya are both working there today. Hope you're prepared for this. We're giving that bucket list some weight to it. Be nice seeing these two guys again. And there it is. Kamarocho's prevailing host club, Stardust. Prevailing, huh? <laughs> They've come a long way, I suppose. Obviously, the Jingon occupation brought some drastic changes a while back. Now it's returned to its more traditional roots, so to speak. That Kazuki boy's always had a vision. You're not kidding. That's not just traditional. It's downright nostalgic. Huh? Oh, they got haircuts. Uh, you, yeah. Huh. Honestly, things never change. Right in the middle of the street. Like I give a shit who you're with. The Tojo clan couldn't even get protection money from us. Get out of here. Don't come back again. You're freaking dead. We're gonna ruin this joint. But the best you've got for me? Real Kamurocho natives sneeze better threats. Let me teach you. Never screw with the big boys. Cover the outside. You worry about business on the inside. You know how boring it is without you in there? Come. There's always more to do. On it. Seems as popular as ever, huh? I suppose so. I appreciate you helping me get one last look at them. Let's slow down. Hey, that was the owner just now, right? Hell of a show. Hmm? Oh, yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> Those crooks were looking for protection money? Amazing how you all beat them back. And by the looks of it, business is booming for you boys. 
Suppose so. We're uh, pretty old-fashioned as host clubs go. Our competitors like to say we're behind the times. But Kazuki-san's a great boss, and with him in charge again, we're all eager to work here. The fact that he still pulls in such young fans is especially motivating. Us <laughs> young bloods have to keep up. <laughs> I'm glad to see people still admire Kazuki and Yuya. That'll never change. They've always been a different breed. And Kamurocho fixtures for decades. Most people have forgotten by now that the Jingon Mafia took this place some time ago. They had money, weapons, people. Things got really rough for a bit. Hmm. Jingon used Stardust to launch their Kamurocho expansion. It was a smart play. Oh, mister, you know your stuff. Have you heard the entire history behind it all? Hmm? As to why the Jingon was targeting Kamurocho in the first place, I mean. You see, the Korean Mafia was beaten, badly, by Tojo Clan Yakuza back in the 80s. Meaning, no offense, you two look like you might have been around back then. Yeah. Do you know about the Dragon of Dojima? Might have heard about him. <laughs> yep, I've heard the name before, at least. <laughs> I figured. No one who knows anything about Kamurocho wouldn't know Kazuma Kiryu, after all. Yeah, Kiryu-san was a legend who kicked the Jingon out almost single-handedly. Kazuki-san and Yuya, though, had the misfortune of being his friends. So, when the Jingon Mafia finally came back, they went straight for Stardust and Retribution. You could say, Kazuki-san was just another victim of Kazuma Kiryu's legacy of violence. Huh, not exactly sure that's accurate. You know? Don't you think? I gotta say, this city's story has always been about honest people paying for the underground sins. At least the Jingon are dead and buried now, anyway. Kiryu-san, too, so I've been told. And with all of them gone, it fell to Kazuki-san to rebuild on his own. It kills me to think of him having to bow his head to every moneylender in town. If those criminals could hear me from hell, especially Kiryu, I'd have some words for him. I see. Fair enough. I'd say you've got a point. Hey! Thanks for your time. Hope we didn't bother you. No, of course not. No bother at all, sirs. Hey, where are you going? This isn't what we came for. Kazuki and Yuya are coming to Serena in a little while. Don't tell me you invited them there. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to reveal yourself. It's just a chance to hear them, see how they're really doing. No. I saw for myself they're doing well. And I've heard enough. Oh, come on, don't say that. I promise you, whatever that toddler of a host said, Kazuki and Yuya don't agree with him. I've never heard them utter one word of resentment. Even still, I... Honestly, just come upstairs. What's a Kamurocho trip without revisiting this place anyway? Think of it as part of the tour. Ah, there you are. Good to see you, Kazuki. Yuya. Likewise. Thank you for inviting us. Not every day the legendary detective of Kamurocho asks you out for drinks. Hmm. Is that the kind of barefaced flattery Stardust customers get treated to, Yuya? That wasn't flattery. Everyone knows I speak my mind, pure and simple. All right, all right. Hey, by the way, this place is empty. You didn't, like, reserve the whole bar for us, did you? Not at all. This is the slow time of night. Always clears out around now. Come on, Yuya. Don't be presumptuous. Okay, Kazuki-san, but I bet you were thinking the same thing. <laughs> Here it is. Trying to clear your name by muddying mine. I apologize for that, Date-san. Oh, get this, Date-san. Know what happened earlier? Some small-timers actually came around for protection fees. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Happened to be down the street during the confrontation. Well thought. 
Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Technically, I probably should have arrested you. How are you always so up to date? Rolling on Stardust's front door just now? Gotta say, it actually brought back memories. Yeah? Of what sort? Huh. <laughs> Do you have to ask? I'm sure we're all thinking the same thing. Yep. Dead to rights, yeah? <laughs> Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Back in the day, Yuya would hurl Yakuza hither and yon from our doorway. We'll say for one, Kiryu-san, naturally. I get it now. Of course he'd come to mind. Hard to believe that was almost 20 years ago now. Yeah, crazy. I can count on one hand the fights I've lost in my life, but I've never felt strength like his before or since. That first night, he looked just like any other mid rank soldier come to squeeze us. Huh. Little did you know you were picking a fight with the dragon of Dojima. Time never slows down, huh? Soon, Kiryu-san will have been dead for as long as I knew him when he was alive. Kiryu keeps a bottle on reserve just in case he ever shows up again someday. <laughs> One of our most expensive bottles, in fact. <laughs> Doesn't exactly help our bottom line. Well, Yuya's not alone there. Sometimes I'm stunned he's been gone so long. Bet everyone in this district who ever met the guy feels that, now and again. Maybe. Still, he had a way of bringing trouble wherever he went, wouldn't you say? Stardust must have surely suffered over the years because of him, no? Your doorman has something of a grudge against him, in fact. Can't in good faith deny that, I guess. Talk about someone the world just has it out for. There were times he'd waltz in, and you'd know a storm was coming. I don't know. Do you think Kiryu-san would forgive me if you heard me say that? It's fine. If you're still carrying this with you, might as well let it out. Okay. The thing is, no one ever took the brunt of it worse than Kiryu-san himself. When that man clenched his jaw and furrowed his eyes, all your doubts would disappear. I'll never forget the first time we met. He was ready to overthrow the Tojo clan, all on his own. But then, he found a little girl worth 10 billion yen, and decided to protect her like she was his own blood. After that, Kiryu-san became an icon to the city. Anyone who knew him knew the courage he could instill. Every twist and turn, all our troubles and hard times felt bearable then. Yeah, that's what Kiryu-san was to us. That's why it's so hard to believe he's gone for good. Hey, Date-san. Hmm? Why tonight? Why invite both of us here all of a sudden? Did anything happen recently? What do you mean? Hmm, I wonder. News of Kiryu-san, perhaps? A sighting, a rumor, a word? Some sliver of evidence somehow suggesting that his death was... A faint? Uh, don't do this to yourselves. I'm sorry, but I called you because I felt like seeing some old friends. I see. And that's all it is? Ah, come on. Can you blame us for hoping for something more? <sighs> <sighs> you too. Kazuki-san likes to say that Kiryu-san deserves to have us honor his legacy. That's why Stardust was worth all the scraping and clawing it took to get it back. Yeah, that must have been difficult. But from the looks of it, Stardust has truly recovered. Kamarocho itself, even. Like the city's healing from Tenkaichi Street out. For the first time in a long time, I think I'd be proud for him to visit us again. I'd like him to know that we're still standing. I suppose I understand Yuya and his bottle now. It's all right. I have a feeling he's damn proud of the both of you. Believe me, there's not a doubt in my mind. His hand's shaking slightly. Oh. Just the slightest. I should apologize for dragging you all the way up there. I know you're busy. You don't have to do that. I appreciate all the work it took. Kazuki and Yuya, 
Well, feel free to tell me I was right. Those two have always looked up to you. Maybe Camarocho can become a little bit better if its people don't forget the man who fought for it. How was it hearing all that? It was good. I felt happy. Like listening in on your own funeral, though. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable, I suppose. Although, what better way to find perspective on the life you've led than that? No one expects they're the poor bastard everyone will say good riddance over. Except maybe you. You think you only ever put people in danger. I'm gonna prove to you you're wrong. I'm working on another clandestine reunion. Stay in touch until then. That ice does not move. It is stationary. Thanks for the drink. See you again soon. <sighs> the cup starts sliding on the table. Things I notice randomly. Good night, Kiryu. Do your best to hold on to what they said. That was a nice one. Ooh, gathered 70 memories of the dragon. Okay, sweet achievement. Oh, wait, they're pound mates? Okay, if I use them as pound mates, we carry. Oh, yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, he's an A rank. Doesn't shock me. I'm honestly shocked he's not higher. Yeah, Yuya is not the money maker, but he is the. Yeah. I mean, it's really cool. Like, if this is my island, now I wish I could run. I hate to say it, the one time I had a chance to run it, just major things were going on. And it would have been a bad idea just to quit and do it. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to do weapons real quick, and I'm going to hop right in that dungeon and do it, and that'll probably where I call it after. And that'll probably, next episode, start with Zhao's links. Hey, Missy, Missy, Missy. All right, what do we got? No, 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 no. Oh, damn, I can't. Ah, I need so many other things. No, no, no. Oh, Master Grader, shift the cuisine spoon. I can make a feather anklet. Yay, I can finally make one. Okay, we'll do this. Oh wow, I can make this too. Control broom rake. Burn rake, burn rake, now broom rake. Yeah, that's not much you can do there. I could make the Wailing Whip for the Night Queen. I'll do it. Now I'm gonna just double check, make sure I have everything I need made. Alright. Yeah, not happening. Arigato. Arigato, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, look at him. Oh, 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 you're jilled. Actually, wait, why am I wearing this? That makes no sense. Agility, agility, agility. Controlled burn rake. Ooh. And now we're going to get rid of the toy bracelet for this bracelet. I only have the one microphone. Okay. We got a few decent upgrades. Alright, yeah, but we'll get all those off the screen and I'll, you know, cut them up like the last one that I did. The last, uh... Mm, who was it? Mm, I don't remember. No, it was Curious Memories. Right. Mm 
Really, Dante? Now? Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, come to Harbor Light, will you? Sure, understood. I'll be there. I'm gonna save that until after. I'm already here. And this must be the new dungeon. Once again, this, if I remember correctly, they spelled... This is the place. Oh, yeah. Caught fire during construction, huh? Talk about a waste of time. Oh, there's our man, Utamaru. Ah, son he. Whoa, get a load of this guy. He must be pretty strong. What kept you? What kept you? Where do you get off? I sent you here, remember? Hey, uh, so sorry. Just trying to match the mood of the place. <laughs> so, who is this guy again? Ah, uh, right. This is one of my officers, Utamaru. Once rumors of this place popped up, I sent him in to gather intel. <clears throat> Name's Utamaru. Nice to meet you all. Well, how's it look? Did you get a beat on who's inside? I did. There's a lot of them. We're talking big numbers. What's more, this isn't some street gang. I gathered up both my own men and some local thugs, told them to search high and low, but, well, no one's come back. Not one? You're saying they were taken out? <sighs> Most likely. That or they flip sides. What with you scaring the piss out of everyone? <laughs> I didn't think that's funny. They're your responsibility, moron. Ow! You're absolutely right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but still, if even my men can't handle this, we might be dealing with a serious threat here. Thinking of backing down? Not a chance. Ijin Cho's underworld is mine to protect. I won't sit by and let these guys run amok. Even more so if they've hurt some of my own. I'll make them pay. Just you watch. <laughs> Spoken like a true leader, son, he. I had a feeling you'd say that. They're hanging around the basement, and there's a lot of floors below that, so be careful. You're not coming with us? <laughs> you kidding me? It's dangerous in there. <laughs> Right. Well, let's go. Might be holding the Comey Jewel fellas hostage. If we find any, let's help them out. Sounds good. They're probably pretty strong, too. No sense holding back. Naturally. Shall we, Sonny? Yeah. Fun in there. Like I was saying, I think all dungeons are randomized. So this should be interesting. Huh. I think I see something. Lava geode and oh no. Yeah. I won't hold back. Ready for the knockout. Right. Something wrong? Try this on your side. Right. Follow my lead. Go me jewel survey data. Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. 
<laughs> Sweet. Woo. We should relish this moment. All right, let's get moving. Remember, stretch is important. Far you have dungeon. Oh, man. They still exist. Right. Goodbye. Doing better than I thought. I hear Aloha. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. Down this way. Sweet. Whew. There's more where this came from. Awesome. Just now. Yep, you did. All right, and that way just leads to that. So let's just go back. So they could have at least changed the layout, look a little different. Cause it looks like the same as the last dungeon. Hmm. Makes me wonder if the secret okay. dungeon Break. that you if you buy the really good version, you get an extra dungeon. Makes me wonder if that one's gonna look the same. Follow my lead. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta do dungeon crawling. Especially for materials. Alright, floor. Let's do this. Looks like they could use some help over there. Sons of the Okay. I'll take you on. Watch this. I won't hold that. I'm not backing down. 
Fixing an air really increased his attack. Have fun with this. this moment hey you all right you should hurry and get out of here thank you very much please take this told me jewel survey data i rescued a missing person i've got some more fight in me all right that's good because we're gonna keep going on um, all right that's not worth going down oh, i think i see something Warren, I saw something just now. Hmm. I wonder if the deeper you go, the more decrepit the place becomes. Hey, what's that? Ooh. Wanna go check? Electric Geo, cool, and cognitive enhancers. Um, do you guys think there's anything over okay, there? Okay, let's move. Uh, I'm gonna say no. And that's the end of it. Let's go another one. Huh. I could have sworn I saw something. Bring it on. Okay. Watch this. Follow my lead. Here, I'll help. I got you. Oh, you're here. We go. What? Check this out. Let's get those rings. Stimmt. 
Just hit me, it just hit me, it just hit me. Uh, which one of you am I sacrificing? You. Alright, I'm happy. And you know what? Does anyone have it before I. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice my black belt. Because I want everything I can get. Wanna go check? Oh, what's what? Oh, there. Should I open Always. it? Always. There, it's a little bit in there. Oh. Oh, a meow meow whip. <laughs> I wish I had Dominatrix on my team now. Right. Time to move. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. More data for me. That's just a long hallway. Let's check this way first. Oh, well, okay. Skip. Huh. Oh. I could have sworn I saw something just now. Oh, where? Ah, oh, there. Took you a while to tell me. Oh, wait. Okay. Hey, what's that? Wanna go check? Um, game? Oh, that was weird. Is everything still fine? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, let's move. We're not doing that yet. Should I open it? Nice. Combat sword. Nice. Yeah, dungeons is where you get weapons. Okay. Huh. Could have sworn I saw something there. No. Look at me. Okay. Why are you so menacing? What the hold on? Watch this. I won't think that. We doing this. Right. Oh. That's not exactly what I had in mind. I mean, I could finish him off. I might as well. Oh, yeah, we got a good turn to kill him. Follow my lead. Grapple? Oh, no, just do this. Here we go. We have a winner. Man, this floor is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not that shy like I said earlier, so I got a sore throat, so it's uh, I'm trying not to talk too much. I should have passed on playing this day, but I really just want to play it. Let's go another round. Oh, 
Hey, what's that? Wanna go check? Follow my lead. Oh. Seems pretty safe here, yeah? Why not catch our breath? Is this a boss floor? Yeah, no, it's a boss floor. Men. Yeah. Have fun with this. Holy cow, no one likes you. Follow my lead. See now. Yeah, give him hell. Right, double the trouble. Double the flame. This is the worst. Huh? Watch this. better than I thought. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Sweet! Strong! Whew. We should relish this moment. Might as well save it. Oh, I can't go back. Never mind. Light it. You've reached the midpoint. Even if you leave now, you can reset, restart again from the next floor. And that's the end of it. Ooh, half helmet. Not dated, but I hope. Now, what would be cool what they did is that they took the concept of FF14's Palace of the Dead, where after so many floors, the layout slightly changes and the music changes. That would have been cool, not gonna lie. Hey, what's that? Wanna go check? Bring it on. Okay. Have fun with this. Oh, I won't hold that. Nothing personal. Here we go. Kagat the Goyo. Fine. What's the hold up? You're going down. All yours. Yeah. Now we're talking. Watch this. Follow my Here goes nothing. Why did I do that? I should have right. did the combo. I got you. There's more where this came from. Huh. Could have sworn I saw something just now. Relish this moment. We gotta fight. Huh. I think I see something. Okay, let's move. Use some help over there. Not a loser. Okay. You're gonna get stamped off. Have fun with this. I won't hold that. 
Here we go. Yeah. What's the hold up? Try this on the side. Maximum pressure. Right. You're going down. Two birds, All one yours. stone. Namba mad. The tick is a hair fight. Alright, it's two missing people. Hey, what's that? Wanna go check? Amount. I got eight million yen. Huh. I swore when I saw something just now. Uh -huh. Now we can leave. Oh, you're allowed to use this here? Interesting. better than I thought. see something. We gonna fight some more? 
Um, yeah, no, but stop dancing okay. on generators, please. You know what? Do what you want. Watch this. Um, combo breaker? Follow my lead. Right. Check this out. Let's get those sprinkles out. I feel bad for this guy. Very good. Oh, I won't take that. I thought I was excited. learning more every day. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Each side broke fat. Moving up in the world. Spin sweeper. <laughs> Iron Matriarch. Strong. Couple of crash. There's more where this came from. I know it's that end or not. Let's go another round. Hey, what's that? Wanna go check? Right, time to move. And that's the end of it. We're getting there. something hey what's that want to go check huh could have sworn it. I saw something just now oh, I think they're in trouble Omar I 
Nothing personal. Here we go. Yeah. Check this out. Out of steam. Right. Well, there you are. You're going down. No begging for mercy now. Let's Follow my lead. Right. I won't hold back. Back in the game. Okay. And that's the end. Yes. I'm ready. Yeah. We doing this? Follow my lead. Here goes nothing. Here we go. Since let's go. Follow my lead. Oh, 
I think I see something. Should I open it? They're open. I mean, if I upgrade the damage, it'd be pretty good. As a chance. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Good. Looks like they get used. Nothing personal. Here we go. Check this out. I love you guys. What's the hold up? That guy is stuck on us. What a fight. Nothing personal. Right. Try this on the side. Let's get those sprinkles out. No begging for mercy now. Right. You're going down. All yours. Ready for the knockout. Hey, there. Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. <laughs> Sweet! Oh, 
Nothing personal. Right. now hmm. I'll take you on have fun with this we have a winner <laughs> doing better than I thought jellyfish chew hell yeah so yes. that scouring strong speed. sweet vanishing Woo. hand there's more where this came from miraculous voice okay I've been quiet for a while. Right, time to move. Should I open it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ooh. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. We're missing one person. Maybe they're after the final boss. <laughs> Looks like we can breathe easy here. Something wrong? Here 
Slam. Good. Looks like we. That's last floor. Oh, sector one. Better head outside. Oh, I missed a guy. Oh, well. That last guy is one of the big. They're bigger players. Well done. I heard there's an evil stronger enemy further down. Watch yourselves, alright? And remember, I'll be rooting for you. Ooh. That pro that's probably enough training. I should head over to the warehouse from Jin Jinai Station when they're ready. I need to know what I could buy here. Mm-hmm. Probably gonna want that. I need to know. I need to know. Mm hmm. I know that one. Oh, a hundred percent know that one. This one's not reminding me of anything. Hmm. Thing is, that's Fantasy Star 2 New Genesis, NG. I love Fantasy Star 2. I absolutely hate New Genesis. Maybe it's time I change styles. Actually, before I do anything, let's, uh... Yeah, exit. Yep. Ow, my throat's really ugh right now. But I'm gonna check one more thing and I'm gonna call it. And those materials, what can I make?
いらっしゃいませ。Aha. I hate to say it, uh, it's gonna.、Mm, I, I want rainbow crystals and squid tentacles. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh. I'm not sick, just my throat hates me right now, but yeah. I'll see you next time, and we might do. I, I'll probably do Zhao's stuff off the screen. And at the beginning. But until then, I'll see you next time, and bye.